I've had a number of people say, hey, how did you set up your homepage in Notion? So I want to walk through uh, just how to set up a basic homepage in Notion that accomplishes two things. One, it gives you a very simple overview of everything you've got in Notion, basically by having some categories there. And second, it gives you a place where you can drop in something very quickly, like a web link or a note or an idea. All right, so we've got an empty page here in Notion. And what we're going to do is set up a home page that gives us the two things we want. A quick place to drop in information really fast, like links and notes, and then the different categories for all of our pages and subpages. So let's go ahead and get this named. Okay, whatever. We'll just call it home. And, you know, you can... Oh, that's nice. Let's leave a couch there. Yeah, you can add a cover. I'm sure you know this already, but, I mean, this Unsplash database is available. That's real nice. Got a lot of a lot of really cool options there. I've got the home page here. What I'm going to do first is create a landing place for uh, if I have like links I want to drop in or something to, to check in with later or other types of notes. So all I'm doing with this is a, I'm creating a gallery. So you want an inline gallery for this, right? So and then you can call this inbox, all right? And by the way, if, if you want the little icon next to this, you do have to open this up as a page and then you can do that up here. You know, then you can grab, you know, whatever. Inbox, and there you go, you got, you got an inbox. So, but I wanna go back, um, yeah, all right. So what I wanna do with this is I want to format this in such a way so that it doesn't take up so much room on my page. So I'm gonna to go to properties. Hope you saw that there, there's a little drop down there. And I'm going to, um, Card preview, I don't want a card preview. And for me, I want to make these small. So, and then I'm going to name them. And let's start with this one. So this is, let's just go with um, web links, whatever. This could, this could be whatever you want it to be, but you know. And uh, there we go. It's not going to be to do. So basically, when I when I use this, I'll show you how I use it later. But I'll drop in little web links here, and I go back and look at them later. Okay, and so now that's there. And then this one, I'm going to do like ah, I'm going to do notes, ideas. These are just like quick ideas. Just throw them in here. And sure, let's just leave that. And you know, you can still do a cover and all of that, whatever. I can do that here. All right, so we're good with that. And go back, there we go. I don't need page three here, I'm, I'm not using that. If you want, you could have six, five, ten of these, you know, um, that's fine. I'm just gonna get rid of that. There we go. So this is sort of my initial landing place. And like on mine, I actually did a quote. So, you know, I have like a David White quote here. Great quote. And I'll you know, put that in parentheses and I, I put it up here just to you know have something cool at the top. All right, so here's how I'm gonna use the, the web link. So I'm gonna, I click on that and go down here and I'm just gonna paste the link. And I'm gonna say create bookmark because I like it to look cool. And it will go to that page and give me a little, little preview. And there it is. I'm like, oh man, this looks like a really cool article. I, I definitely wanna come back and read that. And you know, you can continue to do that. You have another web link. You could drop it in there. And, you know, you've got another bookmark. So on and on. And so you can have, you know, a number of different things here to come back and check in on later. Maybe you want to add it to a sub page at some point later. If you wanted to do that, you would click here and you'd say move to and you would find the place you want this to go. So that's how I process these. I'll, I'll come back in and either delete them because I'm like, ah, I'm not going to read that. Or I'll put them somewhere or I'll just go ahead and read them at that moment. So that's how I use the web links. All right, so notes and ideas, real similar. I mean, I think you know this doesn't require a whole lot of explanation. I just come in here and the way I do it is I'm going to do slash and then page. And, you know, um, whatever, you know, new thing. And... Uh, I'm just going to hit enter and new idea. And I just, 
you know, blah, blah, blah. I've got, got it there. So now I've got it captured. I don't even have to, you know, I don't have to get fancy or anything. I just leave it be and um, jump back here. And now it's sitting there ready for me for later, whenever I want to put it somewhere, develop it. I, I typically will move it around. So when I go in here, you know, I've got a list of these. I say, oh yeah, that was the uh, YouTube video idea I had. I want to be sure that goes in my YouTube dashboard and so on. So that is the kind of my inbox and how I do that. And that's, that's super useful. Um, and I found that to be a great way to capture something quickly in Notion. Um, now, if you're going to do a good job of categorizing all the pages you have in Notion, you, you're going to need to think for a minute, if this is the first time you're doing this, okay, wait a minute, what, what are all the categories that I've got for all these different kinds of pages? And I know when, when I was using Evernote for this, I, you know, I had a lot of different notebooks and, you know, I probably could have done a, a really great job of categorizing had I been able to do more like sub pages and stuff. And that, that's what I really like about Notion is, you know, this is allowing me to kind of branch out all these categories. So I've got basically right now, I've got four categories. So I'm going to type these out real quick. Personal, finances, reading list, projects, and enjoyments. All right, so with each of these, I'm gonna right click here and I wanna turn these into heading two. And, oops, let's just go here and click on that instead. And I'm gonna make them blue. All right, so now I've got all five categories. And now these, this is gonna have a list of pages which will have subpages underneath them. And so the way, you know, I, you can just organize these the way you want. Um, I'm gonna move projects to here and it's all the way over there we go and then underneath you know i've got um pages for different things like you know health log and so on and i won't try to go into all formatting all that and it goes on and on and so each of these pages under here you've got all kinds of things all right so for example here under projects um i've got my YouTube dashboard and, and I've got basically, this is a ton of sub pages in here. I've got categories for that. So I've got categories built in here and so on. So, I mean, you get the idea. This is just a really simple setup. Okay. This is, this is not complex and I don't want it a whole lot more complex than this for my homepage. I want to see at a glance, everything I've got going on and all the sub pages are underneath all of that. And they branch out depending on it. it there's the number of pages is related to the complexity of the project or the thing and, and you know how many layers they are but i don't have to see all that right here on my home page i just want to see the basic high level categories and then the pages i see i like to have the individual pages listed out all the way down now you might just say you know no i don't want to see all the individual pages under the categories you might say i'm going to turn personal into a page and i have to click on that to go in there to, to see all the sub pages for personal. I prefer to have all of my initial pages for each under each, each category underneath each category to be listed there. So I actually have like eight or nine projects listed here. When you click on those, it takes you into a page where all the sub pages are for that project. Um, so it just depends on how clean you want the home page to be. So there's a, there's a lot of options there. I turned that into a page. We can undo that, but, um, there we go. So, so there's your options. Be sure that when you do a new page, I just got to call this out, like, you know, use the, the templates at times. Like there's really great templates. Notion has a ton of amazing templates. And, um, you know, I'll put a couple links, some helpful links to uh, what Notion provides as well uh, out there. But I mean, God, this is, you don't have to go and design your own pages. I mean, there's, there's tons of, tons of stuff in here. Uh, for whatever you're doing. So, you know, use it. And what's great is once you establish that, okay, I am using this template. Once you do that, you can go in and mess with it, you know, and, you know, add a view and, you know, all kinds of stuff. So be sure that you uh, use the templates that Notion has provided. It's a really great resource. All right. So fast forward in time here, I threw together a uh, a bunch of pages, you know, fake pages, just to show you what this would look like all laid out like this. So remember, you've got two options. 
You can use it this way where all of the pages are showing underneath the categories or just turn each of those headers, those category titles into a page link where you can have all of those subpages listed on a page. That simplifies the home page if you want to do it that way. So you got tons of options there. If you enjoyed this video, click like, and if you want to see more, click that subscribe button. And if you've got questions or comments, put them down in the comments below. I love to engage with uh, people about these kinds of things, and we'll see you in the next video.